Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're officially starting our Drift Week trip today, um, but there's still a little bit of prep to do. Uh, I just finished the video series of getting the, uh, I don't even have a name for that car, budget build. Getting the budget build car done, and uh, it is off for an alignment now, so I'm able to focus on something else. We're taking this car on the trip also as a backup slash rental car. If someone else breaks, I want this to be available so they can enjoy their trip. If my car breaks, which almost always happens, I want this to be available for me to enjoy my trip. Um, I'm tired of swapping engines or having to do ridiculous amounts of work just to finish the trip, so I'm bringing a backup plan. Uh, anyways, we're getting this car prepped. Um, I stole the angle kit from it, and so we hadn't really revisited that since we just bolted it on to, uh, to, hold, you know, to get the car back on the ground. We started checking the alignment and the steering, what do you call that? The rack, the, the, hmm, yeah. The rack wasn't centered. There was different turns left to right. So anyways, we found out that the tie rod was bottoming out in the tie rod. So we gotta cut it off. These are GK Tech tie rods that are, are cut to length. And this one was not cut to length because those knuckles I took off were a little bit different. We kept the same arms. So there's not like a length difference, but I think the, the knuckle pickup point was a little bit different. Just enough where this was probably maxed out before and now it's not. So we're gonna trim it down, get the rack centered, get like somewhat of a straight alignment on it, and then uh, load it up on the trailer. Well, we gotta, we gotta screw the side skirts and patch together what's left of this rear bumper after the carnage that happened uh, on, on the last time I rented it. And then, uh, I mean, other than that, this car's like reliable, ready to go. I've been doing E85 on it, which is I would have to turn up the uh, Power FC tune to do the E85, but we're gonna drive it on pump gas, so I think we can just leave it without having to modify the tune or anything. I guess we'll see if it see if it lasts the trip or if it blows up. Dropped it off with Chamberlain today to get the alignment done. Looking fresh. I want to drive it now with a good alignment, see how it does. All right, I'm here to pick up the car from Scott. He always does a good job on my cars every time I go on Drift Week. Try to at least. And you know. I'm always like, last time he was telling me about bite and like the corner balance and all this stuff. And I'm like, I never do that stuff. And then, yeah, there's some tricks we can do with the balance of the car. Like, and I actually noticed, like you told me about it. And I was like, all right, all right. Yeah. That actually makes a pretty big difference here. Yeah, it, I mean, if you, if you think about it, if you have like 200 pounds heavier on one tire than the other tire, that's going to be some weird shit when you're driving. You know? Yeah, yeah. Someone explained so. to me, it's like, you know, like balancing a four-legged table. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah, right. Whatever, whatever, pottery. whatever light side you need to like extend the extend your your legs out and make them heavier. Just put a penny under one corner. And... Right. That's basically, what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate it. Yeah, man. I'm excited Pleasure. to drive it. It was a rough drive last night in the rain on the freeway getting here. Oh, it was like all, geez. It was sketchy. I bet, man, because it, it was sketchy. all over, like the alignment was all over the place, so I couldn't imagine trying to bend in the rain. Yeah. I forgot it was so crappy out last Yeah, time. yeah, it was, it was fun. And then I rode my bike from your house at 2.30 2 down the street. Yeah, in the rain. It was good, oh, good man. time, good time. Well, cool, man, thanks, man. Fantastic. Yeah, man, later. All right. Peace out. He got it, he got the sticker. I need to rock one of those on my car. I love it. All right, guys, I've been thinking about this for a while. Um, there's a few different ways that people shift, and I'm curious what you guys do. I want you to tell me in the comments. If you're going left-hand drive, manual transmission, you're going third to fourth gear, upshift, right? Are you grabbing it like this on top? Are you grabbing it like this from the side? Are you grabbing it like this, Japanese style? Bam, bam. I feel like if you're, if you're shifting like this, you got a Monster Energy tattoo on your forearm, definitely. If you're shifting like this, you probably drive a Miata. And if you're shifting like this, you got places to be, man. You're trying to get to fourth gear so you can let that clutch out and keep on cruising. Definitely should be working right now. I got a ton of stuff to do, but like, fuzz life. And Did the, you say fuzz life? <laughs> and the server knows Kelly. She's like, oh, last time you ordered P1. P1. P1 and a Dr. Pepper. I got water this time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, that sounded... We're all... You can't just stush you right there, right? You just stop this. <laughs> Bad. <laughs> He got the sriracha in his stuff, and now it's the good show him, show him the hat. <laughs> yeah. well, it's like there. Lake Lowell, dude. <laughs> For my Idaho homies. Check out the name of this joint. Sorry, is that cool? 
So, <laughs> forgiven. Oh, man. This is cool. This is a nice little hook. Thanks for welding that on there, whoever built this cage. Oh, forgot my key. Got the key in my pocket. Ah, I wasn't there yesterday. I bird poop on the car. Oh. I don't like trying to get in and out of a car with a roll cage. Can't wait to get it tuned. Got a fresh alignment. I'm heading, heading down to get my tune next from JR. So Brody wired in the fuel gauge um, in the car, which is nice because I want to know how much fuel I have on this trip. It was one of the last things we had to do. So we said we said the car was done in the last video, but it wasn't actually done. Um, but the funny thing is, the way the sensor reads, it reads backwards. Ah, oh, it's red. They're both red. Is that okay? Yeah, it's, it's fine. Okay. If I become suicidal on the trip, you'll know why. Well, this one was already red. Yeah. So I made that one ready to match. Okay. <laughs> uh, so quarter tank means we have three quarters of a tank. Damn, that's pretty good. How am I that low on fuel? You're not. You're... Oh, three quarters. <laughs> it's already tri It's already tripping me out. I can't figure it out. I'm gonna run out of fuel. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, oh yeah, I'm good. I got plenty. Oh, no, I won't. I'll never run out of fuel. Yeah, F oh, that's how I think of it. Just F means you're F, E means you're good to go. You're uh, extra excellent, happy. extra happy. Excellent. <laughs> excellent. Dang. This car's all ready to go. Um, I forgot we've got a customer waiting on this car, so I'm pinning the ECU today, the day that we need to leave. But it's actually going pretty well. It's an EMU black, and uh, when it comes to pinning these ECUs, I've got it figured out pretty well. Um, we can handle these really easily at the shop and you know, it doesn't even take us that long to get the ECU repinned and set up and everything um, We just got to find a configuration map for the RB26. This is a really cool car But uh, this video is not about this car. I wish it were All right guys, so I'm heading down south about an hour south to get my car tuned uh, We're gonna do some street tuning uh, We don't have time to put it on a dyno, but at least we'll know running really good for uh, you know real world conditions um, I'm getting tuned by a guy named JR who's really really good really well respected in Salt Lake and uh, even though my car runs and drives I want it like dialed I want it to be really really good so here it goes let's take a drive south we're leaving still tonight we're leaving around midnight so I've got a few hours to, to do this and load up pack up head out Alright guys, so we made it down here, we're getting our tune done. JR's doing a good job, we're trying to get it all figured out. He's getting the base map set up and all that stuff, so. Um, it's doing this weird like ignition breakup. I don't know if it's fueling or whatever it is, but uh, we're just trying to replicate, replicate that over and over and over and over and over until we can figure out what exactly is going on with it. But as far as everything else, it feels like really, really good. I'm excited for this. 
So I broke down on the side of the freeway for tuning the car. It's the first time with a GR's helping me tune the car. And this is, he's like, oh, okay. I see how you do it. But uh, the throttle cable snapped. This was a throttle cable that was uh, previously on the car from the V8 swap. And uh, it just snapped. We did a full pull out. Probably the first time I really went hard full throttle. And uh, the cable pulled out. So I really have no tools with me, nothing. I'm trying to figure out how to rig up the cable to, uh, to at least pull so we can get off the freeway. Alright, so the throttle cable pulled out from the pedal side. Uh, it was an aftermarket cable, and I can't really tell by looking at it how it's crimped in there, but whatever it was, it wasn't crimped well enough. Um, or it's just reached the end of its life. So, like, the cable pulled out and it's kind of frayed. So, I'm like, maybe we can, like, wrap it over the pedal and do something. I literally have no tools in this car. I didn't bring a screwdriver, I didn't bring pliers. Stuff that I normally have in my door pockets, I have not put in this car. And I even have a glove box and stuff, and I just whatever it's the first time driving it i just don't have it's not fully stocked uh so i'm trying to figure out how like we literally are so close to the exit we could like get off there's a walmart there there's like stuff everywhere but we just can't even move i'm thinking about tying a shoestring to the pedal and just drive it so we can get somewhere <laughs> like i'm like this is this is what I'm, I, this is a this is my strong suit is like figuring out how to get out of sticky situations with like MacGyver. yeah my, exactly macgyver for those of you who are old enough to know what macgyver is that's like what I excel at, and I literally have not, in fact, I haven't given up yet. I have a phone cable here, I've got a shoestring. I might get this figured out, but I figured I'd let you guys know the plate we're in. I'm like, hey, JR, can I, can I get like an hour of your time tonight? Oh, let, by the way, let's just break down on the side of the freeway and get nothing done. So uh, anyways, oh, so I go to the back to try and pull a wire off, because I was like, oh, we, I, I wired something in the back that didn't end up working. I was like, okay, I can use it, because it's got an eyelet on it. It's like, maybe I can use this eyelet on the pedal somehow. So I go start pulling wires back there, and of course I pull the fuel pump wire off, and the car dies. And I'm like, oh great. So then I like I pulled out of a pulled out of a crimp that I had. So I'm like twisting the crimp back together to get the car to run, cause it. <sighs> and we've got like four hours before we're supposed to leave, and uh, the guys are up at the shop loading the trailer. And anyways, it's gonna be a fun night tonight. When bad when bad stuff is potentially gonna happen, you always gotta record it. <laughs> you guys can tell in the video but uh, I'm actually sitting under the hood uh, of the car as we're pulling it under the trailer since the th throttle cable broke um, I'm sitting on the strut bar with the hood resting on my back and I'm using my right hand to control the throttle my feet are on the radiator support in the back of the headlight and I'm doing the throttle with my hand as JR's in the driver's seat doing the clutch and the brakes and steering onto the trailer and we got someone guiding us up and I'm like revving it up and uh, I actually tried to film that part but uh, I guess the phone wasn't on it was kind of a stressful situation but it was super funny and it worked out and, and those guys are like dude like <laughs> I can't believe we're doing this on the side of the freeway but you know what that's what it took to work out it was pretty 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 cool we got the car loaded up on the trailer we're gonna go try and fix it real quick I think if we just go to uh Home Depot or something and get like a cable uh, like a cable repair thing, like a threaded cable piece. I think we'll be able to drill a hole in the pedal and get it done. Focus, focus, focus. There we go. This is what I ended up buying, hopefully to fix it. I shouldn't have pinched the cable, so uh, one of these ought to work. Once we get back to, uh, to JR's house, drill bit, some pliers, this thing will be ready to go. So this is like this aftermarket setup. There's a little rivet thing that was like holding the cable and it just pulled out. Like we couldn't do it on the side of the road. There's no way. So JR just had to grind the head of it off. We'll push it through, get the cable through there and then crimp the other side. Hopefully that works. I'm, I'm, only, I'm only worried if the cable's gonna be a little bit too short, but not much we can do about that. I'll just have to make it work. And then here's what we're working with under the dash. Let's see, where is that thing? light you see it yeah there's the cable 
So it's kind of frayed and it's super short. You see, I was trying to bend it on the side of the road to like somehow wrap it on the pedal. There just wasn't enough cable to like tie a knot or do anything. I literally just needed some vice grips to clamp it to the top of the pedal, but we had nothing. Like, uh, this should be a lesson to me. Like always, always, always keep tools, something in the car, like a screwdriver, a pliers, just basic stuff because I could have easily fixed this with a few MacGyver tools, but I had absolutely nothing in this car. But it's an easy fix. We'll have it done here in a minute. I just, uh, it just sucks we had to tow the car off the freeway for something so simple and stupid. So I was being stupid. I don't know why I didn't think of this, but the pedal literally didn't have a slit to slide the cable in. So I was trying to feed the cable through the back, upside down under the dash, and then try and crimp it on the front. And the cable's frayed, so it doesn't want to go through the hole. It doesn't want to go through the ferrule that I'm putting on there to crimp. And I'm like under there struggling and I'm like, wait, why don't I just crimp the ferrule and slide the cable through? It's not going to pop back out of there. So, uh, yeah, I put a slit in there so, so we can do that. So I think I'll be able to figure it out now. All right, here's the fix. Here's what I figured out. I was able to slit the pedal. Where are we at? Slit the pedal. Um, crimped that thing on there. And kind of bent the cables over. I'm not super stoked on it, but it's the best I could do in the circumstances I'm in right now. Problem is the pedal's sitting really high now off the floor. Like it's higher than the brake pedal, almost. So I need to go make some adjustments under hood so it lets the pedal relax back to somewhat of a normal state. But hey, we're back to uh, drive by cable as opposed to drive by nothing. All right, so we just got done with the tune. Oh man, it took a minute after all the problems we had with the car, which is like, I was thinking no matter what level of preparation I felt like I was, it just doesn't work. There's always something that's gonna bite you and it was a stupid throttle cable. But we went back out and the wizard magician. Yeah, I was like, are you giving me a high five? I didn't know what to we, do right uh, there. What, it was like we hesitating. It. We didn't know what was going on. And then he just clicked one bit and it's like, done. Yeah. Figured it out. So, yeah, so now it's running good. Yeah, it runs really good. Um, oh, man. Gives me goosebumps. Hopefully, fast, you make it all the way through. Oh, we'll make it. We'll make it. I'm not worried about this. This guy's got a cool car. This is a really cool car. Yes. Full 2J, full super drive train. Hey, that car's for sale. That's Civic. Six. Oh, yeah. The all wheel drive Civic is for sale. This is an all wheel drive. All-wheel drive Civic. What motor is this? So this is a J35 that I stroked to a 3.6, and then it's on a 7683. That's a big Garrett. turbo. Yeah, that's a big turbo. Does it spool Garrett. pretty well? Yeah, yeah. It's actually on on such a big motor that's it's uh, 10 to 1 compression. So yeah, it spools really quick. Is that air to water intercooler? Yeah, air to water intercooler, and then yeah, just because I had to fit the air conditioning. <laughs> yeah, this car is. Of course. Yeah, I, I I drive this car where I put probably 15,000 miles on this car, so. What that are, has power steering, AC, it torque vectors. All wheel drive. All wheel drive. From what's what's the drive from? Train a, from? It's from an SH all wheel drive out of an Acura RL. Yeah, it's awesome. Wow. Yeah, the trunk's crazy. If you want to see it, it has cantilever suspension. Wow. Here, kids, watch the shocks work. Oh, that's, oh. that's so cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah. That's really cool. What fuel does it run? Uh, it's full flex fuel, so it runs any content from 0% ethanol to 100. And cool. Yeah. What are you using for management? Uh, AM Infinity. Nice. That's really cool. Yeah. Really, really cool. Car. And then this is the one I just picked up. It's a full GTE Supra swap on a T56 Magnum Trans out of a Camaro. And, and yeah, it made, I tuned this car a year ago and it made just right around 700 on a 67 mil. And, and then that's the little Lotus Super 7 buggy, and it's on a... Fully, is this yours? Yeah. Oh, cool. It's on a fully built SR, but I'm swapping it to a VE head that's in the back there. Oh, nice. Nice. And so, yeah, this was like the first exhaust manifold I ever welded in my life. Oh, it's a true divided? Yeah. Equal length. Nice. We measured it all out. Wow. Based on bends and everything else. Have you run it with that manifold? Yeah, yeah. So this, this uh, it made 503 wheel, and the car weighs 1,623 <laughs> pounds. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. It's really just like a buggy, but yeah. Yeah. So now it's really cool. E head and I just got, I just got a plasma man. Ooh. I've always wanted a plasma man yeah. to take with their little trumpets. That's a nice piece on the inside and yep. everything. Yeah. That's sweet. Wow. So yeah. Wiring specialties harness. I'll switch it to an infinity as well and get it back on the road. 
But yeah. You got some cool stuff. Yeah, fun times. Yep. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, no, you that got, was great. You got work tomorrow. Yes. I told you I needed an hour. Yeah, I said, we, yeah. we, all, we, all, we both knew that wasn't going to yeah, happen. Yeah, no, it wasn't yeah. going to happen. But, but the car's yeah. good. I got an hour and an hour and a half, well, probably an hour, no traffic, all the way back up north. And then we got to load the trailer. We're going to drive all night. <sighs> yep. Good luck, my friend. It'll work for me tomorrow. Thank yeah, you so much. All right, so I made it back to the shop. These guys are all loaded up. Did you get your exhaust done? Yeah. Does it look good? No. Does it sound good? It sounds the same. Sick. It's like, um, I wanted your car on the back of the trailer because when I towed last time, there's a bunch of cracks in the back from towing the truck in the back. So I think the back of the trailer might fall off on the trip. Yeah. Okay. Um, my car runs freaking amazing, like super amazing. I'm so stoked on it. Uh, I got to turn down the boost a little bit. JR told me not to run at that high of boost. I've got a couple things I need to do. I got to grab my tools and then we're going to hit the road. It's midnight, 12, 12 10. And we're like just a little bit behind schedule, but our, our on schedule was ahead of schedule. So I think we'll be all right. Um, we got a lot of driving to do tonight, but we got four drivers. Our plan is to make it all the way to California by like noon or one tomorrow. Track opens at 3.30, we want to go to the Airbnb, check in, do all that stuff. I just found out that Trenton's car blew up again. Are you serious? No joke. Uh, and that was a built bottom end. They did it in, uh, they did it in Georgia. Oscar! <laughs> they put it together and like, he's like, he's done. He's like, I'm done, I can't do this anymore. Oh, he's out of my face. He's just, he spent way too much getting all everything done and like this was his built motor, like this is the motor, I'm gonna put money into it and, and then it blew up. So, that sucks. Uh, no, melted piston, again. So I told him he could drive that song. He's trying to decide, he's trying to talk to, yeah. Anyways, that really sucks. That car is 100% cursed. There's no, it's not even, it's not even funny anymore. That car is cursed. There's something wrong with that car. And each time, each time something different. New fuel pump, new fuel injectors, new this, new that, new everything. Anything that would be a variable has been eliminated, and it keeps blowing up. It's a cur like twelve now. Anyways, uh, we're gonna hit the road. I would close the video now, but I think we're probably gonna have some road shenanigans. So. I'm driving. We're all going under. Uh, you guys haven't even heard what happened to me on the freeway. I'll tell you that story in a minute. But uh. No, I am going to close the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. This is the Drift Week part. We're done building the car. Now the fun begins. We get to drive them, enjoy them, do all the fun stuff that we do on Drift Week. It's going to be a blast. Introduction of characters. We got Luke. He was there last time. We got Kelly. He was there halfway last time. What? We got Seth. And we got myself. Uh, this is going to be the this is going to be the crew for the trip. It's going to be a blast. Kelly's going to be married to this truck for the whole trip. Hell yeah, that's my baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, That's the most reliable vehicle on this entire trip. It's gonna break. Not between us, between everybody. The most reliable. That's oh, it. Absolutely. What? Now nah, this thing's gonna break. <laughs> it's the most reliable. I wasn't gonna say that, but you started talking, running your mouth. This thing's gonna break. Okay. All right. I'm gonna break. It. Gonna... <laughs> All right, guys. Stay tuned. There will be more episodes every day. Thanks so much for following. Please leave us a comment. I love hearing from you guys what you have to say um, and that feedback. And uh, we'll do our best to deliver. Bye. Alright guys, we are locked and loaded. Time to hit the road. Roll out.